Tonight, Louisville Metro Police closed their investigation into the mass shooting at Old National Bank in April and released the details we have been waiting to see. Hello everybody, it's our top story. I'm Doug Prophet. We have the motive stated by the gunman himself, but first new tonight, the families are out with a statement about Connor Sturgeon's actions that day. They're saying on behalf of survivors and families, attorneys say in part, the release of the police report on the old National Bank mass shooting is an important step for those personally impacted by the tragedy as well as for the community. The statement goes on to say, our hearts are with our clients this week as they process this painful report, while many of them have an empty seat at their Thanksgiving table or they reflect on the deep trauma they have experienced this year. End quote. Now we want to get to the evidence for you in that file and the motive given by the shooter himself. WHS 11 Night Teams Taylor Woods is here in Taylor. Police discovered that he had a plan, but that it came together in just a matter of days, not weeks. Doug, investigators say Connor Sturgeon, he actually planned and executed the shooting within one week. This 64 page report includes writings that show how he planned the shooting and why. One family friend of a victim tells me there needs to be a mental health assessment before people buy rifles. Body camera video shows Louisville Metro Police Officers Nicholas Wilt and Corey Galloway arriving to Old National Bank April 10th. Tuesday afternoon, LMPD released a 64-page report detailing personal notes and letters that 25-year-old bank employee Connor Sturgeon wrote to family and friends days before the shooting. The evidence file includes this selfie taken by Sturgeon five days before the shooting, portraying the Joker face that's popular on social media. Sturgeon and described how easy it was for him to buy an AR-15, four magazines, and 120 rounds of ammunition for $700. That receipt from River City Firearms is seen here. I mean, not only his note, it's it's proven every day through the mass shootings that happen across the country that how easy it is to buy an assault weapon. Police say he fired a total of 40 rounds that day. Sturgeon called himself a psycho, telling his parents to fight lawmakers on lax gun laws, asking for them to stop the sale of weapons of mass destruction. Please do something. Dr. Muhammad Babur has been pleading for an end to gun violence. He's also a friend of the Elliott family. Bank Vice President Tommy Elliott killed in the shooting. He feels there should be a mental health assessment before people buy guns. How long the waiting period should be, there should be some background uh, checks, mental health checkup. Detectives retrieved Connor Sturgeon's Instagram stories just hours before the shooting on April 10th. Sturgeon even wrote, quote, these people did not deserve to die, but because I was depressed and able to buy a gun, they're gone. Still, Bobber says there needs to be immediate action to end gun violence and a mental health checkup could show if someone is mentally healthy for a weapon. To see that if there is somebody who is on the edge uh, to break down and do something which uh, will not only harm everybody else around them, but it will also harm them and uh, hurt their loved ones too. Sturgeon's family took him to emergency therapy days before the shooting. He was on various mental health medications. Sturgeon wrote in large caps, I am sorry, I can't take it anymore. In the end, Sturgeon said he had two goals, kill himself and stop gun violence to send a message to politicians. And a group of survivors and victims' families are planning to sue the gun manufacturer, Radical Firearms of Texas. They say the goal is to prevent weapons like the one used in this shooting from being in the hands of people mentally unable to handle them. In a statement tonight, attorneys say they're reviewing this report as they move forward with preparing to file that lawsuit. Taylor, thank you very much. Now.